Welcome to a video on how to connect your Senville Aura series head into the Wi-Fi uh, using Amazon Alexa. Before we get into that, I'll show you where the Wi-Fi thumb drive is located. The optional Wi-Fi kit comes with a thumb drive that goes and plugs into this panel. I've already removed the one Phillips screw, but after you remove that, <clears throat> you'll see that's where the, the thumb drive plugs into on this board, and it holsters right in there. Um, so you get the unit powered off, and you plug that in. This pops up and then slides back to the right under these tabs. And then you put this uh, Phillips screw back in. You'll see this blinking light. That means the uh, Wi-Fi drive is connected and powered on. You can sometimes see that blinking light on the external here, especially if it's nighttime. You might see a dim light. Uh, blinking through here. Um, you can try to either put some tape on it or flip it around so you don't see that if that's bothering you. But also in the kit is a QR sticker that comes with the Wi-Fi drive. And I like to put that on a easily accessible spot. That's what you're scanning on your phone to get the the head connected. So whether it's here or on the side, somewhere easily accessible. Now that we've established that the Wi-Fi thumb drive is installed into the head that you want to get set up, um, this is a this is a step-by-step -step I had written up. You can pause the video and uh, refer back to this if you want. But we'll go through it here. First thing is obviously turn the head on. Uh, make sure the phone you're using has Amazon Alexa installed. Um, and if you have to sign up, it should, if you already have Amazon, uh, you shouldn't need to make a new user account or anything. But uh, one thing to note is you can only connect one Amazon Alexa account to a head, and you can't have multiple control in it. Gets a little too confusing. So you can see this is my Amazon Alexa. I already have several of the heads connected. Um, but we'll add this one. On your remote, you're going to, the LED button here, you're going to hit that seven times or so at the unit until you see the head go into AP mode. It'll display AP in the head. refocus here but now the head is displaying AP that's the pairing mode on the head so we'll leave that in there and then on your app uh, devices hit the plus sign to add it add a new one uh, I'd avoid using the groups that makes things more confusing and it doesn't seem to work as well I just add a device and don't group it under anything. Add device. It's going to be uh, categorized under air conditioner, even though this model does heating and cooling. Scroll down to the manufacturer Senville. Connect your Senville air conditioner next. Is your air conditioner powered on? Yes. So now we get to the, the QR code that we had placed on the head. It's also on the thumb drive itself. So now it's got the, uh, it's ready to scan the QR code. So you just bring the phone 
right up there. Just scan it, and this is how it's going to pair. Sometimes it, this process, this part takes several minutes. Oh, it's still finding it. Obviously, make sure your phone's on your Wi-Fi that you want the the head to get connected to. All right, <clears throat> it's finally gone through. This is one Senville air conditioner found and connected next. Um, I'm going to skip this part again. I don't like to put them in groups. For some reason, I've had a little issue with that. They kind of get lost and found. So I'm going to skip this part. OK, it's ready to use, done. So now we'll, uh, we'll just label it here. But you'll see that first one added. It's not named yet. Go into the settings. Edit name. Let's call this the basement mini split. Done. So now we can control it from the phone. <clears throat> You'll notice on the head now it has a little Wi-Fi icon displayed. That means it's uh, connected to your Wi-Fi. <clears throat> When I'm home, I typically just use this to control it. It's got way more features and it's way more straightforward, but big benefit with this is um, being able to control it remotely. So we'll try to adjust the temperature to confirm that. Yep, yeah, so phone is now controlling the mini split there's really just some basic features, obviously on and off. And then you're just your basic mode. I always recommend keeping the fan speed and auto and then just changing the mode. And then you have the swing function on there as well. And that's about it. You can see they're all added on there. Another big benefit of this app is being able to create routines with it. But you'll be able to see to the room temperature. If you're away and you want to see that your house is still heating or cooling, current room temp 69 degrees. And there you have it.